Oh, right. Hmm. Yeah! All right. Did we get everything? Yeah, let's report back to Bregan. We've reached our destination. I see. All right. Hmm? Got it. <laughs>
words you say! <laughs> that ain't funny. Yeah. Zephyr's words got through to him. The things he risked his life to say were worth it in the end. I just hope he got through to others, too. It might take some time, but I think they'll get there eventually. I see. Right. Going out for us. They could have something they need. Hmm. Hey. Well. Right. Oh?
All right. That was quite the little adventure we went on. I think Hoodle senses something. I wonder if something happened. Looks like we get to sleep with a group. Done. This is sure to give the others some much needed energy. Finally made it. Yikes! Don't make eye contact with it. Discourteous, 
aren't you? If they rush you, you gotta jump for cover, okay? Charge like that can easily be fatal. Just as well, I'm here to stop. Lunar blast! Tiger blade! The everlasting darkness! Blow away! Negative gain! Resonate with the earth! Tiger blade! Your mother! Lunar corruption! By the power of water! I'm ready! This one's mine! Try harder! In a bind, free fill! Luna Let's keep up the pressure! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Healing circle! Thanks! Power Take it! Radiant Pierce! Pivot's off! You picked the wrong fight! Elusive Deity! Blue Eye! I'm all stopped up! Raining Flash! Annihilation! Here's my Let me see what I can do! Take this! I couldn't 
make it in time. I'm ready to go. It's time to finish this. Die! Consuming wildfire! Into the shadows! Going in! Walk away! Thanks! I'm gone! Blood! Amazing! Blow away! Here I come! Luna Cross! Your finish! Walk away! Knock it in the next week! By the Tiger Lake! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Lake! Don't push yourself too hard. Always good to be back in familiar territory. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over. Our heads. I think Hoodle senses something. Okay. Seriously? <sighs> well... What the?! Quite. I doubt we'd fare well against it. Brace yourselves! This one's tough! Let's be getting crazy! Are those rocks in our wind? Don't be the weak point! Be my guest. Raging Cascade! Lunar Corruption! Right. Get into the rainwater! Oh. 
Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. Whew. 
don't sense any more enemies. Hmm. Okay. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our head. Find anyone who needs help here. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why? What? Hmm. She was a handful, wasn't she? What's wrong with being passionate? Not to mention, she was kind of cute. Of course that's why you like her. Hm. Finally made it. Hey, if we find anyone who needs help here. Hmm? Hello. Huh. Huh? 
Kisara. Right. That's not your run-of-the-mill enemy. In a 
Vines! You're this! Mega Ray! Aw, too shy to come out of the water! Here, Take let this. me help! Uh, Look sharp! Here's a healing arm! Uh, First uh, aid! We won. Really now. You better not come back, got it? It's good to be back in familiar...
Very tardy. Something. Don't believe this! Great! Very nice! What? I guess... Whoa. Yeah! Whoa! Is that... Oh, this is bad. Real bad. Man was so gung ho about it. <laughs> See, what did I tell you? Shion, you've got the sauce on your face. <laughs> I think Hoodle senses something. Mahog Sar. That makes four out of. This could be useful. so soon. Woo! Retreat if you know Take what's it. good for you. Leave the charges to me. You're mine. It's over. You're on. This one's up. mine. Take it. Do it. Do it. This one's got your name on it. Action to action. Didn't even break a sweat. 
What's this thing? Hey, look at that enemy. It's shining. Them, because I certainly won't run away from a battle. A fish! You... I didn't realize there was a pond here. Yeah, this is Taka Pond. And it happened to have saved my life once upon a time. What do you mean? As a kid, I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to. It's terrible to swim in but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Ren and eyes. Bear in mind, our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food to survive. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. Here, let me show you how it's done. I hope we catch something decent. Indeed. Hungry bellies are counting on this. <laughs> Not my lucky day, I guess. Is this what I think it is? I didn't think I'd catch something this big. Oh, yeah! And that's all there is to it. Wow. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Kisara, I think I've seen enough. Oh, oh, sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. That's how fishing goes. You wait for a bite, and then the real battle begins. 
Miguel told me that different fish live in different regions, and you have to pick the right rod and lure for what you're hoping to catch. But that doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. When you put it like that, maybe it's worth me trying my hand at fishing after all. You're just in it for the food. I was hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicent. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. Okay! I'm always amazed what healing arts can do. Just doing my job. No need to thank me. I hate camping out. Is it just me, or have those two barely spoken a single word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Megal, is it really any wonder? Kinda puts a damper on the whole journey though, huh? How long do you think they're gonna keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask them? Why do I have to ask? How come you walk together like that? <gasps> she really doesn't beat around the bush. You mean Kisara and myself? You hadn't noticed? You've been practically joined at the hip ever since we left Vicent. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? Having guards doesn't necessarily mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so, it's not like they're entirely wrong, Kisara. You're no longer in my employ, after all. I don't know. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't serve him anymore. It isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You know, she's probably right. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I guess it wouldn't hurt to rethink our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought, after all. Does that sound alright by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for every little thing while you're at it. <laughs> Sorry. It's not that easy, shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it. I've noticed that sometimes we come across enemies who fight like you, and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys. I can get some hits in when they move in to attack, but otherwise they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. Try to outclass them on reflexes? 
I possess the ability to command Earth elemental beings to some extent. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Huh? Uh, what he means is that he can make plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. I'm glad at least one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Doholim handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help. Doholim's fighting style is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued? No. Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position of a lord. You flatter me, but my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? To avoid unnecessary movements? No, I do that to sharpen my senses. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Guess that's why. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? Then, it'll be just as well. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue. looking at me like that. That armor you wear is standard issue for the Menensean Guard, right? Originally, I've added some flair to it in a lot of places. I noticed, especially with that open back. We Guardsmen pride ourselves on never showing our back to our enemies. It's my way of making myself live up to that. Plus, it makes it that much lighter and easier to maintain. Hmm. Dohalim, do you have anything to say about this? Every Guardsman is allowed to wear their armor as they see fit. And you, La? Huh? Why are you asking me? Mmm. Looks perfect and tastes just as good. Isara, let's talk for a bit. Maintaining your shield? It's becoming a familiar sight. Miguel was the one who taught me how to maintain my equipment after I first joined the Guard. Now, it's just a part of my routine. Your brother always seems to come up whenever I talk to you. That's because we had no other relatives. So it was just the two of us growing up. He was my idol. The one I looked up to and wanted to be like. When I became a guardsman, Lagiel wasn't too pleased to see me at first. It was Megal who really welcomed me aboard. Lagiel? Oh, right. She was Megal's second in the Gold Dust Cats, wasn't she? That's right. She's always been a very critical and down-to-earth person. In other words, the complete opposite of a dreamer like me. You're more an idealist than some pie-in-the-sky dreamer. Even so, that's my brother's doing. He'd never let me stop seeing a brighter world. He always did what he could to keep me smiling and happy. You must have meant a lot to him. He wasn't just kind, either. He always worked so hard to set an example for me and everyone else around him. <laughs> he was a true big brother. So much so that when he thought I was asleep, he'd slip out of the house to go training on the outskirts of town. You seem to know a lot about it. That's because I only pretended to be asleep and would follow after him. Hmm. 
You know what? I'm at a good stopping point with my shield. If you've got time, how about I tell you a couple more Migal stories? I guess I'd better get comfortable. See you tomorrow. Before we go, do you guys have everything?